What's up everyone, Steven here with TechMaker. This is building a decentralized chat with Aleph.im and Node.js part 22. We left off at the end of the last episode dealing with what looked to be kind of a bug on our in our code. So uh, what was working, which is this rooms page. So basically, if just to, just to remind everyone, you have a, a route up here, which is rooms slash, and then we take the hash of a room and then we query and we load that room and it broke basically. Um, it works for the public rooms but not the private room that we had updated or private channel. And specifically it broke after we amended it. So if we look back here, this was our original uh, post that we made to the networks. We have techmaker.channels, so on and so forth. There's one approved address. We went to approve another address and we successfully created this post, which is an amend, and you can see we have two addresses. So I've looked into it a bit, and basically, if we go back over to our code here, this line works great until we amend something. And so when we call techmaker.channels and we pass in the room hash, we're getting nothing back essentially we're getting back an empty array so it was breaking whenever we try to call some of these things on it so you know we could you know try to just a guard against like okay there's no uh nothing in the array so on and so forth and we should because people could pass in things that don't exist and whatever but that doesn't really solve our problem right now because actually there's a problem and i want to kind of walk through in this episode like what the problem is, where it's coming from, and how I think we can fix it. Um, and then in the next episode, we'll actually work on starting to fix it because it's it is a little bit tricky, I think, and uh, it might take us like an episode or two to actually sort everything out. And at that point, I think we'll have at least sort of a, a a rough draft of all the functionality that we want. Obviously, we haven't handled every specific use case and all these things and we haven't handled like every different you know feature we could do but i think at that point once we get this sorted out we will have achieved my goal which was really to understand a lot more about how to do data modeling and application development on top of alef and i think that i'm about to roll out a couple of new series um with this as part of the architecture and uh, this series will sort of be very formative for how we approach some of those things. Um, in any case, what I want to do is actually jump over to a node terminal and walk through a couple of interesting things. I think we'll learn a lot about how things currently work in ALEF and uh, get some ideas about how to, to resolve the issue that we're having. So let's go poke around a bit in the terminal and uh, see what we can see here. So first of all, Let's run this node experimental REPL await, and uh, that's gonna let us await things, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is say const alef equals require, and then alef.js. Um, and that now we should have alef here, okay? So what I wanna do, um, first of all, let's just have a look at what we get back when we call, um, get posts with the uh, the the type being techmaker.messages, I think is what we called that, techmaker.channels. Okay, so just as a quick reminder of what's happening here, I know I already mentioned this, but we're getting this item hash out of this room variable in the route there from the params. And, um, you know, actually we need to, in order, sorry, I actually want to like kind of, explain this just a little bit in case anybody's just kind of uh, forgotten or whatever. So we have this memberships thing, which is sort of a join model where you have the ref points to a channel hash and then your address is in there. So that kind of helps us identify like which channels you're a part of. So we print these out in a list and then each one of those has a link to the channel. I guess I could just show you. Let me actually start this back up. So we iterate through your memberships, um, and uh, actually we can just see it right here. Uh, so you have channels, and we're querying back um, TechMaker channels. We have the hashes coming in here, which is interesting. 
So let's go look at this. Um, this is going to be a little more exploratory than I had imagined. Um, I'm just realizing something. I've already done some research here, but I'm just realizing something right now. So when we load this, you can see here we have private test and public test. The 99 members thing is just hard coded. That's not real. But these two channels are coming from this channels variable here, which we can see if we look at this. So um, channels for each, da, 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 da. Actually, that's wrong. Just kidding. Um, it's this one. Oh uh, yeah, so channels, and so you can see here we have this link, and we have the rooms, channel item hash is in the href, and then we're printing it out. Okay, so you get the idea. So basically, that's coming from here, so let's reverse engineer this. So basically we have channels, techmaker channels, hashes, and they're passing in channel refs. And that channel ref is coming from the memberships uh, for this particular user. Okay, so then when we click on one of those, what's happening, it's like for the public, you'll see that it works just fine. And so you can see this, like if we go back over to the code, basically we click on the link um, and we get to rooms, where is it? Right here. So basically we have the channel hash coming through. Um, we look up the same memberships and channel refs again because we want to actually be able to uh, print out that same widget menu on the left basically for the list of uh, channels you can sort of jump between but then for the actual channel that we're going to load the messages from we look it up like this where we say uh, uh, result equals blah 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 and then we just pass in that one hash for that one room so that's the current room and then obviously we sort of parse and pull out some data and then we look up the messages and so on um, so anyway that's how that works. So just as a quick helper, because I'm gonna need this in a second, I, I saw something new. I did a bunch of kind of playing around off camera and I just now spotted something new. So I'm gonna go ahead and just console log out uh, the channel refs here. Uh, and you'll see why in just a second. So this should give me an array. And when I refresh, it's gonna make me log back in. Okay, let's see here. So public test, and now I should have some stuff console logged out. That's the wrong thing. Okay, so yeah, I've got these two. I got these two things. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna copy this, and uh, did I copy anything? Let's copy that. Let's try this. Let's say over back in our browser, not our browser, our uh, terminal, let's say uh, let channel refs equal and then paste that in there and channel refs. Okay, cool. So we've, we've basically got our stuff from uh, in the server that's running. Okay, so set that aside for just a second, but that's related to a new thing I just found. So we'll come back to it. Let's go through what I had actually planned out and then we'll see if this has much impact on it or any impact on it. Okay, so um, basically, if we go back to our browser just to show you the bug, if I click on private test, it's just going to spin, may crash at some point. Let me go back to my code here. And you'll see that we can't get item content of undefined. So where are we calling item content? We're calling item content here, JSON parsed post item content. Uh, so basically, we're trying to get the post out of this, and it's nil. So let's have a look at that and see how that could work. And um, just as a quick spot check, this is the, if I hover over private, you'll see rooms 40C9 in the very bottom left. Let's go check back over here. So I don't have, that's bizarre. Okay. So this is going to be more interesting than I thought. Okay, so let's walk through this. Um, if I do uh, alef dot post dot get post, and I pass in techmaker dot channels, let's see what we get back. Okay, I need to await that thing. 
So we'll say uh, let result equal await, and we'll say result. And so you can see in here a couple of interesting things. So this first thing that comes back is our public channel. Um, and you can see that it's got type, tech maker channels, all the things you would expect. If we come back up to above, you can see that we have, and again, we queried for the type techmaker.channels. And you see here we have type amend. And then down in the item content, you'll see that we do have our two approved addresses. So the amend did work last episode. Okay, so let's try something else though. Let's say that I go, first of all, I'm not gonna be able to say let, so let me just kind of ax that. Okay, so let's say that we expand this and we wanna actually do what we're doing in our code. And and just to remind ourselves again, exactly what that looks like, it's this. So I'm leaving off the API server, but I think that just defaults, so that's fine. So we're passing, passing in hashes room. So let's try the public one. So we'll say hashes, and then we'll copy the item hash here like that and see what we get back. So we get back this as a result and you can see that that's basically exactly what you would expect. Okay, so let's actually look up at the post above where the private channel is. Okay, so let's grab this one's item hash and let's run this query with that and see what we get. And uh, let's see here, P paste. And I'm getting back like this empty array. And if I'm, so that's, I'm just kind of confused about exactly what's going on there. What I realized I can do, is, is there a way for me to like click so that I don't have to, yeah, there we go. I guess it's alt click. So what I can do is look up amend here. And now I get back this amend object, or this type amend, but this isn't the same thing. So really what we're exploring here is sort of the internals of how ALF is working. Because so you can look here and see we have original type amend, and then here we have type amend. But if I look back when I queried this for techmaker.channels, I got the type amend, and then the original type is techmaker.channels. So that's a little perplexing to me. Um, let's have a look at our channel refs. And so the, well, you can see here we have ref and ref. So I guess that's the original that's the original ref here. So that would be the original item. Let me actually try to look up um, get post tech maker channels. Let's do channel refs. I'm gonna try to do this without typing or pasting this whole thing in here. So we'll do channel refs zero like this. And I'm getting back what I would expect. Huh, hold on a second. So if we look at back over here in the browser, if we hover over this private test and you look down in the very bottom left corner of the browser, you see localhost 4567 slash room slash 4DC9, so on and so forth. So that's coming from the item hash on this post right okay so i think what's happening is when we query for our channels we're getting back one that's of type amend and it has a new item hash because that's the new record but it still points at this old record. And as you can see, there's a lot of duplication here on this, and I don't know exactly why, but you can see original item hash, original type, we have the hash, and then we have this ref, which is the same as the hash. 
So, and if we look at, okay, which one is the public test? Okay, so we have hash and we have item hash. So I can see why we need multiple things based on how this this amend system works. Um, I don't know exactly, but it kind of makes sense. So just thinking about it, maybe what we need to do is it might actually be really trivial to fix this. I was thinking of a much more complicated thing, uh, but let's go back over to the code for just a second and let's look at this um, index EJS here. Let's try to just switch this to be uh, channel.hash like that. And I'm also going to need to change that on channel show at the top um, channel.hash. So the moral of this story is you're going to need to be kind of careful about using item hash if you're doing any updating, I think. I think that's the moral of the story. Um, so I'll I'll do a bigger scan later for if we're using that all over the place. But let's refresh this and see if this works. So if I hover over private test, now you can see we have D1B8, so on and so forth. If we click that, what happens? So I'm in private test now. It looks like it didn't break. Um there is a problem with filtering though because we're let me see about um what's going on down here see if there's a quick fix for the filtering um so where is that that's the wrong page it's the show let me just quickly search for item hash so that's not there anymore um Okay, so I'll have to worry about the filtering in a, in a future episode, but now that's working again. So this is a little tricky. Um, I guess the moral of the story is use the hash for this sort of thing. Um, and I guess like I got tricked because you know you're searching for you're searching for um, hashes here, and I suppose that corresponds to the hash down here, not the actual item hash. Um, I, I didn't understand how that was going to update, but you can see clearly here that this item hash for this amend is different than the actual hash, which I guess makes sense. It's got a pointer back to the thing that it's representing an update for. Um, so, okay, cool. I think I'm going to wrap this up here. That at least fixes that bug. In the next episode, we'll try to figure out what the heck is going on with the filtering now, because now that's not working. Um, but in any case, I think this is a good step forward and uh, I'll talk to you in the next episode.